I am so excited for us to take a look at the last year that was and to say thank you, God. He has been faithful to us. And just from a very high level, we have seen the church grow in in-person attendance every single week by about 21%. That is just a number. That is just a glimpse of how God is working in our church and in the city. You're gonna get a chance to hear from our ministry leaders on the staff team as they discuss the different ways that God has been growing their ministries for the glory of God and their excitement for the upcoming year. So bless you church, hear these words eagerly and let's do this for the glory of God. This past year has been marked by exciting growth. We had 21 baptisms and we welcome 24 new members into our congregation. We are currently serving over 350 people through life groups, ministries, and discipleship programs like Freedom in Christ. As God continues to bring new people to us, we want to help them grow deeper and become rooted in Christ. This year, we are implementing a discipleship program that balances theology and spirituality. This will help nurture a spiritual life that aligns the head, heart, and hands so that we can better reflect Jesus Christ in our lives. This season, I am looking forward to see what God has in stores for the church and I'm looking forward to partner with you. This past year has been a fruitful one. We have seen spiritual and numerical growth in our next gen ministries. We have over 100 students participating and serving with us. We are averaging almost 50 youth on Fridays and our college and careers group has grown significantly. So in the coming year, our goal is to build our students in the word and focus more on gospel-centered discipleship. So I am eager to prepare and equip our young people for the next stage of life. I would like to celebrate that our city-centered children and their families are connected and engaged in ministry now more than ever. This past year, we had over 100 in attendance at each of our family events, which included our first ever fall festival, as well as our second gingerbread bash and our second family day skate. This past summer, we had over 500 enrollments on the first day of registration. Looking forward to the next year, we hope to keep offering everything we did this past year, but fine-tuning our efforts, focusing on the development of ministry to the whole family. This year, we saw great growth in our Arabic service, with our in-person service growing by 53% and our online by 43%. On Sundays, our children's ministry that we launched this year now has 15 to 20 joined us weekly. We've launched three home groups that are focused on knowing the Bible. We are eager to expand outreach and our discipleship programs for another year of growth and sharing the gospel. Praise God, church family. I hope that you are as excited as I am about what God is doing in our midst right now. So when I came home recently from vacation, there was a sheet of paper on my desk. It is the original candidate profile of the beginning of our relationship 17 years ago. And would you believe that I identified then what my passion is to this day and what our focus is as a church? It is to make disciples. That's why we exist. But let me just remind you that we can't make disciples alone. Glory to God for your partnership. This church exists to build believers, I like to say by the book, through teaching and preaching, the primary means of grace being the word of God and prayer. And we partner with you and glory to God for the things that he is doing. But we also deeply appreciate the great team that God has given us. I hope I don't offend anyone in what I'm about to say, and I don't mean it as a reflection on the 17 years we've already had together, but there is no point in the last 17 years where I am more excited than I am right now about what God is doing. And it's all for his glory. That's what motivates us. We wanna lift up his name. We want to extend his gospel and bless his people. So thank you for your partnership and let's press on to everything he has for us. 